That was my my wife's song when she came out of the three major operations, one after the other. One in Abuja, another one in the center of Abuja. Still, she could not walk. And then the third one in America, when she came out and started walking, that was her song. I don't know how you did it. Open the leg three times. I repair, I repair. The last one operation was six hours. Today she's walking. I don't know how he did it. Whatever looks like an impossible case in your life. The loudest amen today, God shall make a way for you. Looks like an impossible case in your finances. An impossible case in your business. Three major operations. For 22 months, she was crying in pain every night. Could not walk. But she's standing here today. Hallelujah. I prophesy. From the crown of hair to the sole of your feet, every satanic attack tormenting your life and destiny, sevenfold that arrow is returned back to the center. They have written against you, there's no way. Written against your mind, there's no way. Written against your vision, there's no way. The loudest amen today, the God of this woman shall visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and cry to God, make a way for me today. That's why I'm here. Don't, don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. shall make a way for us today. Wherever things are not working, a lot of amen is that shall start working for us from today. Every negative handwriting against any life or destiny, the loudest amen is shall be canceled here today. Speak your word into our lives today. Repair our lives and destinies. Do what you alone can do. The loudest amen we vow to give you all the glory. 
Somebody expect and jump on your feet and scream. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Please be seated. For that powerful ministration again this morning, put your big, big, big hands together for the Lord. I'd like to welcome everyone from near and far all across the globe to our Breakthrough Business Banquets this morning. All our three services, the works of your hands shall be breaking through to the next level. I'm not hearing your loudest amen. It's a banquet, meaning everybody's own is available there. Everybody's portion is available there. No matter what they told you about the works of your hands, you can't pass exam, you can't get a job, you cannot be promoted. That's a lie from hell. The loudest amen, you shall begin to prosper. That amen is not loud enough. Well, good news for all our youths in the house. All youths alive and well, shout a loud hallelujah. Easter Youth Alive Camp Meeting. Wednesday, 8th of April to Monday, 13th of April 2020. Are you clapping for Jesus? Easter Youth Alive Camp Meeting is for everyone that is youthful and useful. Get set to be a part of it. Prepare yourself. We are putting together a planning committee from today that will start preparing and ensuring as long as you are youthful and useful, you will make the most of your life and destiny. That amen is not loud enough. Man. And just like announced, please note, Believers Foundation class still holds every Sunday, every Saturday. But water baptism is just twice in the month. The first Saturday and the third Saturday. First Saturday and the third Saturday. You get baptized in water, you will never be on the ground again. Say the loudest amen. But after every Sunday service, we have a short session that just helps you to begin to love being a believer. And on Saturday, we have a full session from 8 o'clock or when we have a Saturday program from 11 o'clock. Make sure no devil cheats you of your portion in Christ and you will never miss your part in Jesus' mighty name. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Engaging violent faith for supernatural breakthrough. Engaging violent faith for supernatural breakthrough. And I'm taking part 3B of that message part 3p of that message remember the theme of the month is fight the good fight of faith say with me fight the good fight of faith it's not a bad one say it louder fight the good fight of faith make it the loudest fight the good fight of faith first timothy 6 12 why in a fight not in negotiation not in discussion you know why? We are redeemed as sheep, but we prevail as lions. We are redeemed as sheep, but we prevail as lions. In this kingdom, we don't line up forever to get things done. After the order of Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah, we take charge of our world. Revelation 5, 5. After the order of Jesus, the land of the tribe of Judah, he said that, verse 5, Revelation 5, 5, the elder said, weep not, cry not. The land of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, the captain of our army, has prevailed. Open the book. Open our destiny. Don't, don't run up and down again. Yes, we are redeemed by the blood as the sheep, as the lamb of Jesus. But in this kingdom, no discussion. We prevail as lions. So we fight to win. The last battle you lost shall be the last one. That amen is not loud enough. Huh? And the major feature of the lion is unusual strength. Second Samuel chapter 1 verse 23. Unusual strength unusual the way we say listen Saul and, and Josh and Jonathan lovely and pleasant in their lives 
in their deaths, they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were what? Stronger than lions. Strength, unusual strength. To triumph in adversity. To dominate in negotiations. It's a business banquet service. You won't lose any battle again. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10. Proverbs 24 verse 10. You lose any battle again. Forget the witches. It's not them. You have no, your, your strength is not in place. So get stronger. Your strength is not in place. Get stronger. And that's why it's session after session this month to strengthen your faith so you can dominate in life. Strengthen your faith so you can dominate in life. Because once your faith comes alive, the lionic spirit in you shall be awakened. Once your faith turns alive, the lionic nature you shall be awakened to rise and prevail. We are in the school of faith again this morning. So just follow me systematically. I trust God for helps and trust God for understanding for you. Say a loud amen. Quickly, what is faith therefore? What is faith? I don't want to fail again. Build up your faith. What is faith? Faith, number one, faith is not a beggarly force. Stop begging. Faith is not a beggarly force. No. You are a child of faith. You are born of faith. You are to live by faith. Habakkuk 2 4. You are a child of faith. You are saved by faith. You are kept by faith. You are to live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Not by discussion. Not by begging. Not by lobbying. No. It's a conquering force. It helps you to confront and conquer. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 4. You have it. Now, confront and possess your possession. It's your inheritance. Deuteronomy 2 24. I've given you good things this year. Great things this year. Begin to possess and confront them with them in battle. The last job you lost shall be the last one. I'm not hearing your amen. Faith does not beg situations. Faith does not negotiate with situations. It rises to conquer it. If you want to conquer, build up your faith. Daniel chapter 3, 1 to 18. Three Hebrew boys, young like you and I. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Nebuchadnezzar was king at that time. And then suddenly the king wanted to make everybody to worship him. In verse 3, the princes, the governors, the captains, the counselors, they gathered together and set up an image for Nebuchadnezzar and said everybody should worship him. And verse 6 says, everybody falleth not down, that falleth fall not down to worship shall be put in the burning, fiery furnace. No problem. I don't know what they told you the last time. That if you don't follow them, you don't beg them, you don't sleep with them, they will trap you. It's a lie from hell. See what he says here. Verse 7. Therefore at that time, verse 7, the people had, and they worshipped. Everybody became their slave. But your case is different. Talk yourself, say my case is different. Then verse 9, the Bible says, Then spake and said, Keep Nebuchadnezzar, they will say, live forever. Anyone that doesn't bow, let him be put in the fiery furnace. But he went and told the king, there are three boys that will never bow. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, verse 12. Verse 13, Nebuchadnezzar was very angry. Commanded them, bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And 14, they brought them. And said, he said to them, now, I'm sure you are ready to bow now. Bow now, or you burn. 16 says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said to the king, we are not careful to answer you on that matter. Wave your hands and shout hallelujah. When you never bow, you will never burn. As long as you will never bow in the name of the Lord, you will never burn. No one is worthy of your worship except your God. Let no man, no devil confuse you. Verse 17, they said, if it be so, 
our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the fiery furnace, even if it doesn't come. Verse 18. It will never bow to you. But I have good news for you. They refused to bow. Put them in fire. But it came out on hot by fire. I prophesy. The last attack on your destiny. Before the eyes of your attackers, God will promote you. Before the eyes of your contenders, you and your family, the loudest amen shall be celebrated in this city. Number two, what is faith? Faith is not a dormant force. It's a violent one. When it's dormant, it's not working. Your law practice, when it's dormant, no new cases. Your shop, when it's dormant, no new customers. Your bank account, when it's dormant, no balance. Nothing new comes in there. But Bible is telling us today that faith is not a dormant force. It's a dominant force. It's a violent force. That means it will never take no for an answer. Will never take no for an answer. No matter how captive you are, you are going free today. That amen is not loud enough. I'm not hearing your loud amen if you're there. In Mark chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, a man needed help. But there, the only place you could go to was Jesus. Verse 2, there says, and straight away, they were gathered in so much that there was no room to receive for anybody. Not so much as through the door. Nowhere to enter. No one can give business. No balance can increase. Nothing, nothing, nothing. For friends, that man entered there through the roof. I went back home to a miracle. I was speaking to a believer here this morning. Where they say nobody can enter. You will enter there this week. A louder amen, glory, and honor will answer for you. In Mark chapter 1, verse 27, 27, where they say nobody can enter. The man entered there. Read that scripture. One to go. And they were all amazed. And some of the question among themselves saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? With authority, he commanded unclean spirits to clear out. And they were healed. Faith doesn't discourse. Faith doesn't negotiate. Faith doesn't take no for an answer. Faith declares and faith delivers. Faith declares and faith delivers. Faith declares and faith delivers. Jesus said, carry your bed and go home, my friend. He jumped up and went home. I'm speaking under that same unction today. Every business failure in your career, in your life, Every career failure. You came here with your complimentary card. You came out with your business implements. Put them on this ground. I speak. Nothing fails in this commission. The loudest amen, your last failure shall be the last one in Jesus' mighty name. Violent faith. Why violent faith? Quickly. Why violent faith? Why? Because there is always a Red Sea to cross on the way to your promised land. The only place for you is forward. You are going forward. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 3. I say, ladder, amen, you are going forward. I say, the amen, you are going forward. Mentally, you are going forward. Academically, you are going forward. Over the world, you are going forward. You have gone around that mountain long enough. Ready to go forward, to go northward. Your two hands, your two legs, let your amen be the loudest one. But well, hear me. Exodus chapter 13, 17 and 18. When it was time to go forward, they let them, Pharaoh eventually let them go through the land, away from the land. I said, and when they went, said, for adventure, the people repent. When the sea war are returned to Egypt, Verse 18, God led the people about through the way of the wilderness, through the Red Sea. The children of Israel went through as they departed from Egypt. There's the Red Sea ahead of you. Wilderness on both sides. The Egyptians behind you and you must cross. Stretch your hands here. I declare starting from this morning, every Red Sea ahead of you, spiritually, materially, financially, it shall part for you in the name of Jesus. 
after today's service, they will find you on the other side. That amen is not like a believer. I said, as you are going now, there's Red Sea. But I prophesy, after you are anointed, the next time they check you, they'll find you on the other side. If you are crossing over to take over, make your amen the loudest word. I always remember, sometime in Kaduna, fights came, contention came for the growth of the church. Church began to move, and people began to gather, and the landlady rose up to fight. Get out of my place. Church was on two plots of land. Get out of the place. To a point whereby the bishop had to leave a team to go discuss with her. She said, no, she was fighting. And suddenly, like you know, with violence of faith, he jumped up. He says, listen, enough. Have you ever seen the church of Jesus or God worshiping on the road? You will never see one. Let's go. Anything they are targeting to use to embarrass your family, I scream by violence. God will turn it around in your favor right now. He said to the man, let's go. As they moved, entered the car. On the way, somebody just said, sir. They showed us a parcel of life for our school sometime. We don't need it. Can we go and see whether church we need it? He said, why not? He said, let's go there. They went there, saw the land, prayed about the land. God said, that's the place. From two plots of land. Garden of Faith today is on 13 acres of land with the largest cathedral in northern Nigeria. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Any door that has closed against you on Friday, I prophesy. Monday morning, from seven brand new places, supernatural open doors will answer to you and your family. Too many contentions here and there. You make one move, they block you. Make another move, they block you. But never again. Skim a ladder, amen, your phone must ring with good news for today. That's why looking at the violence of faith this month, we have been schooled to get drunk with spiritual wine. Get drunk with some brands of wines in the Holy Ghost that forbids you to beg any devil on any matter. You are looking too ordinary so they can kick you. You are looking too casual so they can embarrass you. But when you are a drunkard and your head is moving, anyone that stands in your way, you kick him out of the way and go to where you are going. Am I hearing an amen from somebody? Scream a violent amen like a drunkard. You are going back with the testimony. I mean, for you to, this is your landlady chasing you out. Should you not beg her? You now jump up and say, come on, let's go. You must be under some drunkenness. Am I talking? Or when the day when they went to call him, I said to him, like, your first baby is coming out, and it's, I think it's second baby. It's bleach. And they went there, as a drunkard in faith, and touched the baby. I said, baby, turn. And as he turned, he finished praying, baby, turn. I need to turn. And by the time he got to the announce, baby has come out. He must be under some kind of drunkenness. I'm talking to a certain family here. Larry Abusha, Gatona, Empala, every impossible case that you have been carrying up and down, your health, your children, every impossible case, I declare within the next 24 hours, it shall turn to you for a miracle. <laughs> Scream the loudest, amen, you are going back home with a blessing. <laughs> Two kinds of wine we are looking at this morning, quickly. Number one, is the vision wine. Let me try and develop that in this service and take the other in the next service. The vision wine. The wine of vision. True visionaries, sorry, true visions drives visionaries. Let me put it that way. Every true vision drives visionaries once you are drunk with vision no devil can stop you from functioning once you are drunk with vision every true vision drives the visionary just like all the pistons and the rings in your car once you press the turtle they keep moving, 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 and you are going 
Once you carry a vision, everything inside of you is set in motion. Say loud, amen. In Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. 1, 2, and 3. I will stand upon my watch and catch a vision. And when you say to me, and I will write what he says, verse 2. And the Lord will answer me, write the vision. Make them plain. Catch a vision. Catch a new vision. That you may run. And he says, verse 3. According to this, that vision is for an appointed time. At the end, he shall speak. He shall not tarry. Vision will speak in your favor from today. That amen is not loud enough if you are there. Vision simply means see ahead to go ahead. Vision simply means see ahead to go ahead. Abraham was 75 years old in his father's house. Cannot see ahead. In fact, his father told them the last two verses, Genesis 11. Terah said, let's go to Canaan. And as they were going, no vision. Canaan stopped. Sorry, Terah stopped. And Terah died. And everything finished. But Abraham saw a vision. How do I know? Genesis 12, verse 1 to 3. And Terah took Abraham his son and Haran his daughter. And his sons put that scripture back. Let's just read. Let's just read the last one. Genesis 11. His daughter-in-law. And they went forth to the all of Cadiz. Or to the land of Canaan. And they went to Haran. And Han and they dwelt there. The next verse. He said, and the days of terror were 250 years. Terror died. Without a vision, a man's destiny will be, will, be, will be terminated prematurely. But I speak to everyone here. Whatever has blocked your vision is caused today. That amen is not loud enough. Scream a louder amen. New door shall open up for you. Abraham caught a new vision. At the age of 75, the Bible says, the Lord appeared to him. Get out of your father's house. To a land that I will show you. And I will bless you, make you a blessing. And by verse 4, Abraham departed. Follow the vision. By Genesis 13, verse 1 and 2, Abraham was blessed. He went out. Then look at verse 2. Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. You are stagnated today because you are seeing nothing. Get drunk with vision and you will end up unstoppable in life. Jeremiah 20 verse 9. Get drunk with vision. You will end up unstoppable in life. The big part, he said, but the word was in my heart as burning fire shot up in my bones. I was weary for from bearing before, but when the fire was burning, I could not stay. Met a man on the field yesterday. What are you doing? I work with a hotel. What's your plan for the future? I don't know. Are you married? Yes. So where are you taking the family to? I don't know. I say, you are a risky man. You are a risk. To marry you is a risk. When a man is going, doesn't know where he's going, he can lead you to the gallow. But I took him, a, uh, right here I was standing, I took him a quick session on the power of vision. I'm sure he's in church today. I declare to everyone that the sound of my voice. What there will be is blocking your eyes. That will let you see a great tomorrow. A loud amen is shattered now in Jesus' mighty name. I'm not hearing your loudest amen if you're there. Genuine visionaries dare new things. Write that down. Dare new things. Genuine visionaries, they are new things. Behold, I make all things new. Revelation 21 verse 5. Go after some new things. Genuine visionaries. They break limits. They dream big dreams. Bring dream big dreams. With big dreams, you command heavenly helps. You are seen too shallow. Acts 17 verse 6. Jeremiah 1, 11 to 12. You are here today, you have seen nothing. That's why nothing is happening. You see, arise, shine, light has come. Light will shine on your pathway. That amen is not loud enough. And by verse 22, Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2, light has come. Verse 3, Gentiles shall come to your lights. Kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. Say a louder amen. 
and by verse 15 somebody's story is changing already 15 read with me one to go whereas forsaken and hated so that no man will go through thee very loud If that's the wave your hands and shout the loudest amen. With a vision, no one can forsake you. And by verse 22, with a vision, verse 22, very clear about your life and destiny. Read with me once you go. Shall become a thousand. A loud amen. That shall be your story from now. Catch new dreams. Catch new visions. Visionaries are diligence in their pursuit they can be stopped what i have found i must enter proverbs 22 verse 29 what i have found i must enter once you catch vision it makes you unstoppable see it that a man diligent in pursuit we stand before kings and not be men apostle paul said in Acts chapter 26 verse 19 i was not disobedient to the heavenly vision Whatever is trying to slow you down, a loud amen, you are free from today. Quickly, what are the characteristics of violent faith? What are the characteristics of faith that is drunken with the wine of vision? Once you are drunken with the wine of vision, like I said, I take the next part in the third service. Once you are drunken with the wine of vision, you suddenly carry a more than conqueror's disposition in battle. I'll take it again. You carry a more than conqueror's disposition in battle. Who you look at determines what you look like. Look at the king of kings showing you the way to go. You must look like him. Many are looking at nothing, so you end up as nothing. You can't look at the mighty God and be connected to the most high and be a most low. And be looking at the most high and be a most low. Your God is not poor. You will never be poor again. That amen is not loud enough. That amen is not the screaming one. That amen is not the shouting one. Genesis 49 verse 12 talks about the lionic nature you carry. The lion. His eyes are red with wine. That means he confronts, he attacks everything on his way. Red with wine. Always a fighter. That's the lion's nature. They call him the king among all beasts. Your disposition. Proverbs 30 verse 30. He's the king among all beasts. You move. In fact, the way he carries himself, you can't near him and go free. I'm saying, the way some of us carry ourselves, nobody can give you a job in town. You look so cheatable. You look so wounded. Nobody wants to marry a liability. Don't go around town like this. There are some that have sat down on interview panels. I simply ask them, what's your name? Sit up, my friend, what's your name? He said, hey, my name? No. It's my own. There are some people you talk to them and you know that you ask yourself, did this man pass this exam that has a certificate or they pass for him? Look cheatable. Look such a weakling. Nothing is working. Stretch your hands here. I prophesy. Everything that makes you less than a lion, I curse it today in the name of Jesus Christ. From Jesus in Mark chapter 1. 23 to 25. There was a man with an unclean spirit. When he saw Jesus, no nonsense disposition. He cried out. Verse 24. He said, let us alone. Jesus, son of Nazareth, have you come to destroy us before our time? I know who you are. The Holy One of God. Jesus, no discussion. Rebuked him. Hold your peace. Get out. Hello? There are some demon beggars. There are some demon tormentors. But there are some demon destroyers. Which one are you? Demon beggar? Demon negotiators? Demon discussants? Demon destroyers? 
scream a very loud amen. No devil shall torment you anymore. Get back now and torment your tormentors. The last failure you had in business shall be the last one. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Quickly as I close, it's a business breakthrough banquet. In business, in career, our next level of breakthrough demands that you know better than what you know now. If you know a bit more, you will live better. John 8, 32. You know the truth, the truth shall set you free. You know the truth, it shall set you free. We don't say you don't know anything. You know some, but it can't take you to where you are going next. You need to know some more. That's why I like to urge you, open up to God this morning. In Isaiah 5 verse 13, Isaiah 5 verse 13, he said the people are gone into captivity. Business has spoiled in their hand. They mess up his career. Why? He lacks knowledge. He knows too small. He talks too much and knows very little. You press him small, he will fail. You send him small, he will scatter it. But never again. Say loud amen. So, crave, write this down, crave to know some more. Crave to know some more. And you'll be qualified for your next level of breakthrough. Crave to know some more. And you qualify for your next level of breakthrough. What you know can only take you this far. If you know some more, you have better results. So go and find it. Say loud amen. Say louder amen. The way you enter the interview hall, as you enter like this, they know whether you want to get the job or not. As you sit down, they know whether you are the one they are looking for or not. You never enter an interview panel and sit down and do your leg like this. You lost the job already. You are here for serious business. So you sit up and look straight. And talk straight. If you don't know that, you go anywhere you go. They will tell you and say, we are sorry. You say, maybe it's witches that is. No witches. You are just a dummy. You don't know it. I got to my first place it was, in this meeting was Kaduna Church. Then Bishop Abiyah was there as an assistant. As I arrived in Kaduna, the man I was taking over from the ARP, he said, Ajibadi, hear me. Hear? You either know it or you don't know it. Everybody that you know that has wonder in the faith has been here. Archbishop Bishop has been here. Ben Hina has been here. And Kevin, this one has been here. That one, and Bishop Adigo is here. The first day you have the ability to hold mic, if you sound, you are their brother. Sorry, you are their pastor. You mistalk, you are a brother. Am I talking? You sound, they respect you. You may sound, they classify you. So I had to go and look for books to know. How do they stand at the altar and sound and they will respect you? Hello? If I didn't know there, that one, I would stand there and say, praise God. They say, which one is this one? Shout hallelujah. They say, from which village is this one? So I had to go and find to know how do you carry impact from day one. So the first day I had the mic, as I sounded, wow! That's it. After service, they ran after me. They say, our pastor, you are welcome. You look like Bishop Abiyah. I say, yes. You find you talk like him, I say, yes. If I you walk like him, I say, very well. I prophesy. The last mockery you saw shall be the last one forever. Get to know better. You fly in business. From today, the last shot, the enemy fired against you shall be the last one. Proverbs 25 verse 2 is to the glory of God to conceal a matter. Proverbs 25 verse 2. Read that scripture very loud. Everybody, want to go. God will never show you everything from day one. No matter how wonderful your life is, it will never give you your best job from day one. It will not give you your best promotion from day one. 
You keep as you are keep changing levels, you are changing faces. Changing discoveries, you are changing faces. Get this week to learn some new things. By Sunday morning, you shall testify. Jump on your feet and let your amen be the loudest one. I said, jump on your feet and let your amen be a screaming one. Jump on your feet and let your amen change levels from today. I said, jump on your feet and let your amen break levels from today. Jump on your feet and let your destiny break limits from today. Lift up your voice and declare with faith. I'm not negotiating with any devil on my destiny anymore. I'm taking what belongs to me by force right now. Lift your voice and get violent. Lift your voice and get very reactionary. Al-Kasodaba and to Balaniyama. Nobody can pray for you like you. El Keto Nama, Mel Keto Zozo, Le Keto Nana, Bel Keto Zaza, El To Balania, El Kabana Manama. Fight the good fight of faith. I know you know where you are losing. You know where you are. They are making a mess of your life. Fight the good fight of faith this morning. Fight. Lift your voice and fight. Lift your voice and fight. Lift your voice and wrestle against principality and powers. Lift your voice and wrestle against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Lift your voice and attack the limitations. Lift your voice and confront every disappointment. Whether the north, the south, or the east, and the west, begin to declare a brand new you is arriving. Begin to decree a brand new you is arriving. Begin to declare a brand new you is arriving. El Kosatama, Mel Kosasasa, Luria Kajaka, Aka Zosasa, and to Malani Maraka Zosasa Zolada Balaba, and Kaduna Nana Nana, do da da da. Lord, help me. Lord, deliver me. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Somebody, a loud amen, you are coming out of that prison house. I said, somebody, a ladder, amen, that chain that has kept you back is broken today in the name of Jesus. I said, the screaming amen, your star that they are pressed down is breaking forth today in the name of Jesus. Quickly, you're here this morning. You're tired of being on the ground. You're tired of being kept down. You want a better life. You want a brighter life. Jesus said, I am come that you may have life. Have it more abundantly. Chopping life. Enjoying life. Fulfilling life. Wherever you are, you want to come out of that prison house for a better life. Only Jesus can save you. Lift your right hand. Jesus, let Jesus help you this morning. I don't like what is happening in my life. I want a better one. Turn your life to Jesus. Surrender to him. Lift your right hand very high. You want to say, Jesus, save me. Jesus, help me. I want, don't want to suffer again. I want to be born again. Rush out here. I want to pray with you. I don't want to struggle again. I want to be born again. Pick your life by the Bible and just rush out here this morning. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray with you. Your life shall become brighter and better. If you are coming, come quickly. Clap for them as they're coming. Clap for them as they're coming. Rush out here this morning. Rush out here this morning. You have struggled enough. Forget your friend. Today's your day of change. Forget your neighbor. Today's your day of rescue. Wherever you are, keep coming. The more you clap, the faster they come. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Bigger, better, bigger, better, bigger, better. It is wonderful to know that Jesus keep died Keep coming, keep coming. For me, wonderful to know. Lift your voice. It's wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know yeah, my Savior died for me and my sins and my sins are washed away. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died. There are some of us here You need to rededicate your life You have lost your joy Lost your peace 
You like, think your life is so bad. But God is a God of a second chance. He's a God of a new beginning. Pick your bag and Bible and rush out here now. Rush out here now. I want a new beginning. God, give me another chance. They sing that song one more time and you rush out here to join them. Rush out here wherever you are. It's a God of another chance. Let's go. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died from the wonderful on your hearts. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I surrender. Say, Larry, Lord, Lord, I surrender. Jesus, save me. Deliver me. From today, I repent and I ask for your forgiveness. Take my life. Turn into a miracle. I invite you. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Be my Savior. Make me what you want me to be, and I'll serve you forever. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. Put your right hand on your forehead. I decree from today, sickness is ended in your life. Poverty is ended in your family. Whatever is mocking your destiny is canceled from today. And I command blessing to rest upon you, that the miracle of salvation shall be your portion. You will never see evil in your life anymore. Shout the loudest amen. You are going back with a testimony. God bless you. Open your eyes. There's a package from heaven for you that will reassure you and the last part of your Lord shall be the last one. The pastor are waiting. Follow them. They will give you some instructions. Follow their instruction. You will never see destruction again. Shout amen. Are you ready? Follow the pastor. Church, are you clapping? Bigger, better, bigger, better. Give God the loudest shout of praise. Get your bottle of oil by your side. Everybody worshiping here for the first time on a Sunday morning would like to pray for you specially. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. A miracle was waiting for you here before you came. And we're going to pray for you specially. And then God will open up to you a new lease of life. Today's your first time. Jump on your feet. Today's your first time. Rise to your feet. Today's your very first time. You are a vessel of honor. You are special to Jesus. Are you clapping for them? Are you clapping for them? Very special to the Lord. Pick your bag and Bible. Come to the front here. We'd like to specially pray for you as a church. Pick your bag and Bible. Sing as they come very quickly. Come, come, come. Clap some more for them as they come. We of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Welcome, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. You're welcome here in the name of the Lord. We can see in you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Oh, yes, we love you. We can see in you, we can see the all over you, the glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord. Yes, we love you in the name of the Lord. Amen. You're welcome, my friends, in Jesus' name. Every blessing waiting for you here before you came shall go back home with you. We love you with the love of the Lord. I will reassure you. When people come here, their story changes. Success becomes their portion in failures. Failure to success. Poverty to prosperity. Curses to blessing. Sickness to health. That shall be your portion from now. Bow your head and ask God for something special. Something you need that only God can do. Church, rise to your feet. Get out your bottles of oil. Ask for God for something special. Something glorious. Something fulfilling. Ask God to do it for you. Thank you and thank you. 
In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Lord, bless these ones today. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody, take out your bottle of oil. And put a little of the oil in your palm. Pastors, let me put oil in their hand. And hear me. As our custom is, this are monthly anointing service. And God is saying today, is going to anoint you. Say amen. If we anoint you, every closed door shall open up for you. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. As the oil comes upon your head, Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3, anointing will rest upon your life. He said, For thus said the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand he has holding, to subdue nations before him. So lose the loins of kings to open before him the tulip gates, they shall not be shut. All our children, as they are anointed this morning, I declare the door of excellence shall open up to them. All those writing jam exam, all those going to school, I prophesy supernatural intelligence for all our children. In the name of Jesus, their mentality opens up. Supernaturality answers for them. The last failure shall be the last one. The last sickness shall be the last one. The last environment shall be the last one. All our children in land, amen, shall end up as shining stars. Everybody stretch your hands here. I declare from today, studio help me. Every door that they say you cannot pass, you will enter there this week. Isaiah 45, he say, I will go before thee. Make all the crooked places straight. Break in pieces the gates of brass. Cut in sunder the bars of iron. I prophesy. Every scattered business, every battered career, every injured destiny, a loud amen repaired from today. All the gates of brass that won't let you go forward, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You came with your ID card, came with your complimentary card, came with your points of contact. You see, I will give you the treasures of darkness. And the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I'm the Lord, which called thee by name, I'm the God of Israel. I prophesy. Darkness is turned to light in your life. The next seven days, from where you never imagined, I prophesy supernatural transfer of wealth. The riches of secret places will know your business. They will know your career. They will know your destiny. Begin to break forth in the name of Jesus. The wickedness of the wicked over your life and destiny is shattered from today. Scream a loud amen. That arrow is return back to the sender. Put on your forehead and begin to prophesy. Put on your forehead and begin to prophesy. Put on your forehead and begin to prophesy. Like a told mama, mama. Osa gatelada balama. No more injury, no more sickness in my career, no more blockade in my career. Whatever is bent, whatever is scattered, whatever is blocking the way, clear today. El Casosasa, El Casonamania, whatever is blocking the way, clear now, clear today. In the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Casatama, is God hearing your voice? Is God hearing your voice? Give me the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lift your bottle of oil, I send you forth with the rod of dominion. Anywhere you drop this oil, your star will shine. Anywhere you drop this oil, miracle jaws will answer for you. Supernatural favor will answer for you. People that hate you, they work for your promotion. Shout a loud amen. Seven days of dominion will answer for you. Put this oil. In your hand again on your cap it's going to go into you i prophesy in your old age aria masuza you will enjoy divine health enjoy put a little of the oil on your arm again as this oil enters you every growth dries up every sickness is shattered whatever satanic mark is moving around your body scream a loud amen it is destroyed here today Whatever arrow they have fired against your, your destiny, return back to sender. Shout a loud amen, you are going from here, brand new. Let's go, send it down.
the loudest amen you are going free today please my friends follow this pastor they have a special welcome package for you shout amen listen you must not go back from here jobless say amen anyone as at now you're either not working or you're not things are not working well you want a better life a brighter life remain standing the rest of us sit down i want a breakthrough in my career i want a better life i'm not satisfied with what i have jesus help me remain standing now listen 1991 i attended the bible school in this ministry word of faith bible institute that was my first course i was a banker i was earning salary but i had no vision i was a banker i had a good family but my destiny was not clear all i wanted is god i want to get drunk with your vision for my life i don't want to wear another man's cap i don't want to do another man's job find me a place in destiny 1991 i went to that bible school 1994 i took up an assignment for a call to ministry 26 years this year i have never looked back i've never lost a battle 1992 i told my wife we're spending a child for four years no children go to that same school she conceived the first week in the bible school that conception is married today i'm saying there's a school of faith starting here tomorrow word of faith bible institute teaches men and women for two weeks for exploits make sure if you are not satisfied with where you are you log into that we have the basic course bcc if you have never attended lift your hand let them put a form in your hand i want you to be in that cruise like me lift your right hand lift god bless you put a form in their hands bcc if you attended bcc lcc starts tomorrow the next level even if you have done BCC before or not before, go for a refresher course. Lift your hand, then I put a form in your hand. And make sure you are there tomorrow. We start 7 30 on the 3 o'clock. For two weeks, your star will shine. I mean, see, somebody's hand is still lifted up here. My friend, can you get a form for the two of them? That's why you're in front. Very fast. Get to be a part of that program, and God will do you good in Jesus' name. Shout a louder amen. If you don't have a form yet, don't sit down make sure you get a form and you're in that school the lord will bless you in jesus mighty name shout it louder amen well as we close one of our elders elder joko is asked for a special celebration for his birthday today are you clapping for jesus i would just want to rejoice with him we'll dance for a few minutes he'll come out with his family and they will pray with him and close the service he's celebrating a next level birthday today let's just rejoice with him the choir will sing as he just come out, he just comes out with his family and his the elders will rejoice with him. Let's go sing it. Don't go back home with your offerings, drop them in front and behind, and the Lord bless you. Get to be in the Bible school, and God will do you good. Quiet sing as they go. Let's go quickly. Let's rise and sing. <laughs>
and this is my family. Fight the good fight of faith. At this place we are, our life is not a playground. It is a battlefield. And for you to win any battle, you must fight. Amen. I've been fighting this fight in the Lord going according to the scripture and I have been defeated I have been defeating all my enemies Amen. both seen and unforeseen Amen. so what I am saying now is that we must have to fight Amen. and it is not a small fight Thank you, Jesus. it has be a very big fight Amen. so you have to bring all your muscles Hallelujah. and do this fight Amen. And I've been doing it since 70 years. Hallelujah. Shout it loud. 70 glorious Lift your hands and thank God for this great life. 70 glorious years. 70 blessed years. 70 years old. Exactly today. 70 years old. Exactly today. Full of life. Full of strength. Full of grace and glory. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. For your son, for your servant, and his entire family, we celebrate today. We rejoice today. For this new lease of life, 70 years of grace and glory, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. 70 years of fulfillment, 70 years of blessing beyond measure. Lord, let this new year be a new year of fulfillment on every side. In the name of Jesus, everything you have done, we thank you. Whatever is still left undone, let them be settled supernaturally. In the mighty name of Jesus, it stands today with the family as an example of the believer. No devil will tamper with their destiny. In the name of Jesus, and I prophesy the God of this commission will rest upon you like never before. It's very really casted upon your lives, and the fullness of God will answer to you. In the name of Jesus, I cover you in the blood of Jesus, and I declare many more glorious years will answer for you. Your thanksgiving today shall be the beginning of many miracles. Shout a louder amen, you are a first partaker. You are blessed. Congratulations once again. God bless you. Everybody trusting God for that kind of celebration. Wave your hands and shout the loudest. Hallelujah. God bless you. Let's dance back to our seats. Hospitality is celebrating also with the family. The Lord bless you. Please be reminded the Dickens board and Dickens Dickenesses and the stewards after the third service, you have your symposium. Shout hallelujah. Lift your hands if God has done you well today. Jump on your feet and shout the loudest. Hallelujah. If God has blessed you, wave your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Make it louder, thank you, Jesus. Go in peace. The next 24 hour story will change. The next seven days, I declare you are breaking limits on every side. Breakthrough, we ask for you and your family in the name of Jesus. I call you blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Third service starts immediately. Drop your offering in front and behind. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let's share the goodness together once we go. Surely, God's goodness and men shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. It is my year breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen or ears have shall be expressed all through the year 2020. Congratulations. 
Have a blessed time. Remember, Operation 10 for Christ is still on. Get your souls this week and Mother's Day, full week celebration. Be a part of it and the Lord will bless you. Third service starts right away. you are, it is my year of breaking limits. As